everyone, it's Raj from 3CB Performance. Today's topic is Golden State superstar and soon-to-be free agent Kevin Durant, who suffered a quote-unquote mild right calf strain during Game 5 of the Warriors' eventual victory over the Rockets. After draining a swing-through baseline pull-up and turning up court, Durant came away limping and grabbing at his right calf after pushing off with his right leg to run back to the defensive end. The calf itself is comprised of two different muscles, a gastrocnemius or gastrox, which sit superficially and have both a medial or inner and lateral outer head, and the soleus, which sits below the gastrox and fans out wider beneath them. It's very likely that KD injured his gastrox, specifically the medial gastrox, because the injury happened with his knee extended and pushing through the foot to accelerate, also known as ankle plantar flexion. This double action specifically puts stress on the gastrox. The movement itself looks relatively tame, so you might be wondering, how could that lead to an injury? Well, there's multiple risk factors at play here for KD. The first is that Durant has had a significant jump in activity and intensity in recent weeks. In the 10 games prior to Game 5 versus the Clippers, he averaged less than 30 minutes per game. In Game 5 and onwards, he's been at nearly 43 minutes per game. That's a 43.3% increase in minutes per game with ever-increasing intensity. That's a recipe for overuse and the calf taking on more stress than it can handle. That last push-off was very likely just the straw that broke the camel's back. Further, research shows that calf strains become more prevalent with age. KD isn't a spring chicken by any means. He's now on the back half of 30 years old and has been in the league since he was 19. Lastly, and certainly not least, is that Kevin has strained that right calf in the past. Most recently, he did it in January 2018, and that injury was also a mild calf strain, medically known as a grade 1 tear, which means less than 25% of fibers were torn. With most muscular injuries, including the calf, previous injury is by far the biggest risk factor for future injury. That prior grade 1 calf strain further gives us some insight into his return to play timeline as he came back in roughly 6 days. The average return to play ranges from 7 to 12 days, so that lines up considering KD has access to elite around the clock medical care. Accordingly, the Warriors have already ruled him out for the rest of the Rocket series and will be reevaluating him next week. If Steph, Play, Draymond, and company can pull the series out, maybe Harden won't take any shots in the fourth quarter of Game 6, then there's a chance that KD could be back for Game 1 of the Western Conference Finals on Tuesday, May 14th exactly six days after the injury. However, if I was a betting man, I lean more towards Game 2 on May 16th. That being said, if the Warriors do advance and he does return, there's still a definite risk for re-injury, but I'd imagine Coach Steve Kerr would rein it back the minutes because obviously 25 to 30 minutes of KD is far better than no KD at all. That does it for this video. You can always find me on Instagram or Twitter at 3CB Performance. My goal is to provide you with in-depth, thoughtful, and evidence-based information. So like, comment, share, and sub to the channel. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your time. 3CB out.